Hey, two, I'm here this time finally with my first Bath and Body Works winter 2021 2022 semi annual sale haul. So, a couple reasons why I'm still late with this. Um, number one, I was out of town right after Christmas. So, on Boxing Day, I was in Kansas City. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know that because you like see where I kind of travel around. Um, but yeah, I was in Kansas City for a couple days after Christmas. And then I had, you know, family in town. And then, uh, yeah, I just had other stuff to get up on like certain days. So anyway, long story short, here I am today with my first semi-annual sale haul, again, from winter. So I'll have at least one more because I do have an online order that I'm just kind of waiting on. Um, and then I may or may not have other stuff in the future. We'll see how it goes. So without further ado, let's jump right into what I have. So the first thing that I picked up is actually a purchase that I made in Kansas City. So I um, was in Overland Park with my mom, if you're familiar with the area. Um, and uh, in Overland Park, I went to one store with my mom. Didn't find anything too exciting except for one thing. So I picked up one, two, three four and five shower gels in midnight pomegranate so for some reason i just could not find the shower gel anywhere in midnight pomegranate on uh the body care day when they were 5.95 these i think were maybe 4.95 something like that at the semi-annual sales so again just the five shower gels because i did pick up uh three lotions two creams and a fine uh five fine fragrance mist in midnight pomegranate on the day of the body care sale day. Um, so the keynotes are ruby red pomegranate, sparkling cassis, white jasmine, blackberry spice, and patchouli. I love midnight pomegranate. It is, mm, it's so good. I mean, it was part of the signature collection back in the day when it was regularly out in stores, but I think of it as an autumnal fragrance because of the spices and the patchouli. It's very much so kind of like a dark, kind of nighttime floral and I really like it for the fall. So it is actually my annual October fragrance. So you will not see me use my Midnight Pomegranate for a while just because I did use up a set of it a few months ago. But in the fall, like I said, every single year, it is my October fragrance. So you'll see it then. So that's all I picked up in Kansas City. Again, I just went to one store because like, whatever. But um, I have gone to two stores here in the Denver area. Um, so at the second store, I only picked up two items. I picked up two lotions and Beautiful Day. They were 75% off. They were there like kind of randomly. They weren't with any other Beautiful Day products, so I don't know what's up with that. But I do love Beautiful Day. The key notes are sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis, white daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. So I again, could use it year round. It was marketed as a signature collection, but I do enjoy it for spring and summer specifically. It just smells very light and airy. There's definitely a green apple note here and I really, really love it. So I think that Bath and Body Works always discontinues their best fragrances. And uh, I think one of the most recent discontinuations was Beautiful Day. So such a great fragrance. I have heard that it is a dupe for DK and YB Delicious. However, I've never smelled that, so can't confirm or deny, but I have heard that. Okay, so that's all I picked up from the second store. Again, pretty small hauls here. I feel like this sale has been actually pretty good if you specifically want fall and winter items, but kind of like all right besides that. Um, so yeah, that was my only uh, thing that I picked up from that store, but I finally used my 10 off 40 the third store that I went to down in Castle Rock. So part of the reason why I actually made it to $40 is because I picked up this candle from the Give Like Such and Such line that launched for Candle Day. This one is Give Hope Peppermint Marshmallow. I was looking for this on Candle Day but couldn't find it, so here I am with it. The key notes are crushed peppermint fluffy marshmallows and powdered sugar. Mm, and it smells... Yeah, just like a minty 
marshmallow scent. So, so good. I only need one, you know, I don't need to hoard this um, because, you know, in a couple weeks, I'm very over the winter thing. I'm already over the winter thing, but in terms of fragrance, I'm definitely gonna be over the winter thing in just a couple of weeks. But yeah, I'm really glad to have gotten my hands on this and it was 50% off. And I think it looks really nice. So the packaging is nice. The uh, lid itself, or not the lid, the jar itself is red. It's not just like a sticker, but yeah, it looks great. Glad to have my hands on one. Okay, um, also at that store, the 75% off table was actually pretty solid. So I did stock up on a uh, kind of signature fragrance that I, uh, just like the Midnight Pomegranate, also use in the fall. So I found, and I bought all four of their um, Fine Fragrance Mist in Black Raspberry Vanilla. Again, it, this had been marketed at Bath & Body Works, and I guess is now marketed again at Bath & Body Works as just part of the signature um, line. I mean, I guess now it's usually just online, but like back in the day when it was in stores, um, it was just part of the signature collection, but just like Midnight Pomegranate, this to me is a fall fragrance. So it's so good. My husband loves it because he just thinks that it smells like black currant, but I like it for the fall. So while Midnight Pomegranate is my uh, October fragrance, Black Raspberry Vanilla tends to be my November fragrance. I really enjoy it as a, um, kind of like a um, a fall to winter transition. I just really like it, but I think that you could use it anytime during fall. Again, it's fine year round, mm, but it's such a nice like dark berry scent. Perfect for the fall, especially for people like me who don't do the pumpkin spice thing. So I picked up those four. Oh, and the key notes are fresh raspberries, vine ripened blackberries, vanilla orchid, and creamy sandalwood. So good. Yeah, it just smells like a body care dark berry. Very good. Very nice. I loved it. And I have loved it since college. It just reminds me of college, just like my precious midnight pomegranate. So picked up four of those at 75% off. I decided to go ahead and stock up just because I would be purchasing them anyway. And I was out of black raspberry vanilla fine fragrance mist. Also for 75% off, I picked up a shower gel and a fine fragrance mist in fresh gardenia. The keynotes are dewy honeysuckle, white gardenia, and cashmere musk. I'm glad that I decided to kind of take a chance on fresh gardenia. And the reason why I say that is because even though for several years I have loved this in home fragrance, I felt like Bath & Body Works had never done a great gardenia body care scent because to me the gardenia scents they've done in the past are a little bit too, a little too soapy, I think for me, whereas their uh, home fragrance has been much more, I don't know, kind of robust. Like to me, the gardenia from Bath & Body Works in body care versus home fragrance just smelled different. And now I feel like this smells more like the home fragrance that they've done, like that really heavy kind of white creamy floral. I think it smells more so like that. So this set, I don't see myself using until this summer, but I really don't think it'll stay in my collection especially long. Also, I picked up another shower gel. This is in Marigold and Cane Sugar. The keynotes are Golden Citrus, Sunshine Marigold, Cane Sugar, and Warm Amber. I believe this was out in the summer to fall transition. I didn't pick up a fine fragrance mist in this just because I only kind of liked it. It's very much so a sugary floral, but I'm going to be looking for that in May and June because it's just what I always wear around May and June. So again, I wasn't, you know, so crazy that I just had to have a fine fragrance mist in it, but I think that for one shower gel, that's pretty solid and I do like the packaging here. Okay, and the very last item that I had was a pretty good find. It's probably one of my favorite finds, I think, um, except for the Midnight Pomegranate Shower Gel. This was also 75% off. This is the Strawberry Pound Cake, and this is the Foaming Sugar Body Scrub. Key notes are Fresh Strawberries, Golden Shortcake, and Whipped Cream. While I am picky about Bath & Body Works scrubs, I typically do like their sugar scrubs. I just feel like a lot of their like shimmer scrubs or glitter scrubs or whatever, or like creamy scrubs for me are not coarse enough, but their sugar scrubs and their sand and sea salt scrubs are solid to me. So I'm hoping that this will be coarse. 
Um, but for 75% off, plus I had my 10 off of 40, I think I can live with it. But yeah, I'm just really hoping it's coarse like their other sugar scrubs because typically speaking, I'm happy with the sugar scrubs from Bath & Body Works. So um, this was the only one that I found. It was pretty random, but I would enjoy this any time of year. I see myself incorporating this into my spring use it up challenge. So yeah, again, I don't think this will last very long in my collection. The only things I can see lasting in my collection are just the multiple items so the midnight pomegranate the black raspberry vanilla and then like one of these beautiful days will probably be in my collection for a bit but the other things will be moved out in the next six months or so so while i love bath and body works i like to definitely rotate my collection and keep things fresh so that is it for my haul. Again, I do have an online order that will be up soon. Um, I'm gonna have my empties coming up next and December was a pretty good month, so make sure that you stay tuned. All kinds of Bath & Body Works content coming up in January, especially I'm a little bit backed up, but that's good for you if you're into Bath & Body Works content because there'll be a ton of it. Definitely make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put that down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.